we've all had your book at home and we've all been um, uh, dog earing our favourite pages. I'm going to kick off with mine. Your chocolate and cherry pudding, you're going to say, aren't you? It's called self sourcing chocolate and cherry pudding. <laughs> How does something self source itself? There is a cheaty way, and that's probably by undercooking it. So it's still gooey in the middle. <laughs> that's one way of self sourcing. It's kind of like you pour it over the top and you bake it, and it's such a delicious. It's a bit like a brownie, but it, I mean, it's 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 Tom, lovely. It isn't looks it? off the charts. Good. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Do you know what? There's quite a few veggie ones in here. Yeah. And and a lot of one tray, one bakes, sweet and sours. Lots of kind of like uh, lots of using fish. Lots of using things that come supermarket ingredients as well. Like unashamedly using ready roll puff pastry, jars of onion jam, pre cooked beetroot, ready cooked pouches of rice, or ready cooked pouches of lentils. But like ready cooked pouches of lentils, right? They're amazing. They're a thing that I've kind of like half discovered in the last couple of years of things for great for making vegetarian flavors, kind of stews and things like that, but actually putting them through a normal beef bolognese or putting them through a beef stew or a, a lamb mince or something like that. What it does is it bulks things out. It gives it texture. It gives it extra flavor, makes it go a lot further and it's actually cheaper as well. See, extra and texture is texture. Oh, I love that. 